Here we go, a brand new razor from Fine Accoutrements. Hey everybody, it's Glenn, and welcome to The Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate each and every one of you. Well, today's gonna be an exciting shave for me. Just got the brand new Fine D5 Safety Razor. And here's the box. Back of the box, and here's what it says. The fine DE5 Safety Razor brings a new life to a beloved vintage design with modern precision manufacturing, clog proofing, modifications, more heft, and an initial supply of world-renowned Japanese blades. Take the guesswork out of your wet shave with a time-tested performance tool built to last a lifetime. Well, here it is again. Let's open the box. There's a sleeve that comes off like this. And here's your razor. Inner box. Instruction on the back. More stuff on the flap. And here it is. Nice heft to this beautiful razor. Take a look at the handle. Very nice. There's the uh, fine accoutrements logo on the bottom. Pretty long posts here. You can see that. Initially, when you open this up, um, the teeth are pretty tight in here. But a couple of times back and forth, it's fine. Base plate. Here is the cap. And I'm also gonna be using for the first time, um, fine, Bayram shaving soap. I've got a bunch of fine soaps, but they're all the old original hard puck. And this is the new formulation. Oh, beautiful Bayram scent. Just gorgeous. If you like Bayram, Bayram heaven. There is the pour side label. This stuff is uh, made in Italy for, uh, for fine. We've got the um, splash as well. I will be using a, a feather blade. And for the brush, we've got a beautiful uh, Trotter handcrafts brush. There's the coin, T1 uh, Manchurian knot. So let's get the uh, lather made and I'll be right back. Again, this formulation is very different from the old one, uh, the old hard puck you had to scrape out uh, and put into a bowl or, you know, just um, load from the puck itself. But I, I would scrape it out, put it in a bowl um, this is so soft, comes right out real easy. It didn't take a whole lot of water either. 
Here's what it looks like. Nice lather. Had a great deal of bubbles in the beginning, but the bubbles are gone. The lather looks great. Let's wet the face. Okay, face is wet. We'll grab some pre-shave oil from Subtle Arts Citrus. I love Bay Rum, so I'm looking forward to this shave. Let's get some of that lather on the face. Beautiful stuff. So off of the puck, it was high actually, as far as scent strength. And it's the same way on the face. This is a definite robust scent. Uh, most of the fine scents that I have, the older version, I found pretty light on scent, on scent strength. But this is really up there. I'm gonna grab some more water. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Fine accoutrements, D5, here we go. Very nice. Again, it is loaded with a feather blade. I've got about two and a half days of Growth. Soap is beautifully slick. I'm getting a very nice shave with this. I would not call this an aggressive razor. And I wouldn't call it mild either. It's um, in the middle. Just a lovely shave so far with that feather blade.
little more water. Round two. Still smells incredibly good. Might have to grab some um, other varieties of this new newly formulated fine soap. Very nice. And we're gonna have a uh, YouTube content creator shout out. After we finish this pass. So again, soap was really soft in the um, container. Easy to scoop out. It didn't take a great deal of water, actually. It bubbled up very quickly and I kept working it until the bubbles were no more. And it really is a very, very nice shaving experience. Hope you're all doing okay. Hope you're having great shaves and having a lot of fun. I'm in this hobby for about three years and boy, am I in that rabbit hole. I didn't plan on it. But it was beckoning. I have a good deal of soaps, good deal of brushes. Good deal of razors. Okay, so before we uh, go along with pass number three, it is now time for the YouTube content creator shout out. So who is it this time? Melly Mel Shaves. Melly Mel Shaves. Hey Mel, how are you? Good to have you on board today. I totally, totally, totally love your stuff. And so Mel says, welcome to my channel. I so appreciate you. I do these videos because traditional wet shaving and fragrances bring me joy and happiness. I enjoy life thoroughly, and these videos track my traditional wet shaving and fragrance journey. Follow me on Instagram at bbs.live, where me and my boy, Nat Dog, talk traditional shaving, bourbon, and men's fragrances. Well, Mel, I have to tell you, you put a smile on my face every time I watch you on your channel. Um, man, you can motivate anybody. 
if you're having a tough day, um, a challenging day, just turn on Mel and it's going to be much better. So Mel, again, thank you for what you do. And I appreciate you. I'm going to leave a link to Mel's YouTube channel in the information section of the video. If you haven't checked him out, please do. It really is a life-changing event. Thanks again, Mel. Okay, get ready for pass number three. Get some more water. Number three. Scent still nice and strong. It's not at all irritating like some bay rums are. I've got a few that burn my face a bit. This is still really nice. No issues at all. Pass number three. Have some thunderstorms here in southeastern Pennsylvania today. Breaking up the heat a bit. So if you've tried fine accoutrements before, before this new formulation, you really need to get this. This is different. And I think even better. Grip is fine on the razor. Has a very nice weight to it. Okay, so let's see how we did. Really good, very smooth. Just a couple of my usual trouble spots. And I'll take care of that right now. Okay, calling this done. Truly a superb BBS shave. So, if you've watched my channel before, you know we don't waste any of that luscious lather that could be left in the, in the brush or the bowl we get it out on the face one more time. And we do it for a couple of reasons. One, it smells great. And you can enjoy that scent a little longer. And this is a fine scent. Two, it's good for your face. And three, if you've missed any areas, you can easily find them in this method and take care of them. Well, we missed nothing, so let's just rinse. Okay. A fine shave. A fine shave. Some quins. Witch hazel is next. The 
This is the grapefruit with orange rind. Just delicious. Look for queens on Amazon. Oh my goodness. Great witch hazels. Try this a bit. And now, the splash. I've been a real lover of uh, fine accoutrement aftershaves. Let's see how this one is. Oh, man. Nice burn. Bay rum, menthol. Life is very good. Okay, quick recap. Fine bay rum. New formula. Fine bay rum aftershave. Delicious. Delicious. Fine D5 safety razor. Very, very nice shave. Just great. Had a feather blade in it. Here's the brush that we used from Trotter Handcrafts. Beautiful knot, the coin. Um, oh, we used some Subtle Art Soap Company Citrus Pre-Shave Oil. And don't forget, don't forget, Smiles for Miles Soap Scooper. Love this thing. So thank you very, very, very much for tuning in. Glad you did. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you watch it, please push that button. That'd be great. All right. Have a great day. Um, stay cool. Stay dry. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.